Hello, you're watching Tulip Swift. Welcome back. Today, I want to do a really chill video with you guys. I saw Chan do this from Chandler Ainsley. She did it with basic YA books. I'm going to do it with Taylor Swift singles. Taylor Swift has so many singles. Did not realize this until now. So I took basically the top 20 um, according to Billboard's Hot 100 and then I inserted a few that weren't on there yet like me, Tim McGraw. So we start with God tier and then it goes down to elite, good, average, okay, skip. So Taylor Swift songs are different because they all have ups and downs like because some of them have been around for like five or ten years and I loved them when they came out or I didn't love them when they came out and then I loved them after the music video or I loved them after the tour. Not all of these are the official single cover. I kind of got... It was too much research to find out like what the actual cover art looked like so I just used whatever came up. Some of these are ugly AF and I think they might actually be the real single cover so. Let's start with Taylor Swift. I knew... <laughs> Taylor... They're all by Taylor Swift. Let's start with I Knew You Were Trouble. Okay, loved this when it came out. Loved the music video. Maybe not my favorite but the thing is I just can't listen to it anymore. Like I don't know what it is. I'm gonna put this in... All right, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to start off on such a, like a low note. Look what you made me do. Let's talk about that music video though. Um, it really is a lot of fun. I really was looking forward to it on the rep tour, but it didn't end up being like as good as I thought. But it really is that bitch. The old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. She's dead. Like who? You know? And it's a bop, and it's like low key. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good tier. All right, we stand. We stand. Look what you made me do. Um, next, I have 22 from um, Taylor Swift's Red. Yeah, I don't know why I introduced it. Like, you've never heard of what this song is before. I feel like it's a skip, but, like, you know I love her. Okay, what's next? Delicate? Okay. Taylor Swift saved the music industry with this song. Like, saved the music industry. It was like doing so well and it made me go like why didn't we release like Getaway Car and like other singles from Rep? Um, it's so good and um, I mean the music video is everything and I love it so much and it cannot be overplayed. It's like magic. It's like magic. Every time I listen to it, it gets better. We're just gonna set that right in God tier and move on. Alright, we have Back to December. I feel like this was a huge fan favorite and for me I like didn't get it. I was like why does everyone love it so much? But like I don't know and then I never really had my like back to December moments. Like it was always just something that I heard so many times and I never thought about it deeply. So let's take a moment right now. This is me swallowing my pride standing in front of you. Okay that's you know what? Good good tear. Good tear. Alright she's good. Um, next we have Endgame. Everybody hates Endgame. Okay, I say that about every song, but I'm just thinking of, like, the haters. But, like, Taylor Swift fans be like, Endgame is a skip, don't at me. Okay, but when you heard Big Reputation for the first time, weren't you like... Because I was. I do like Endgame, honestly, but for Ed Sheeran... Here's the tea. Next we have me with Taylor Swift and Brendan Urie, one of the only duets on here. Listen, spelling is fun. Taylor said so, you know? You can't spell awesome without me. These are facts. Where is it gonna go, you ask? I don't know where I'm about to put it. One of these things is not like the others, like a rainbow with all of the colors baby doll when it comes to a lover. Okay, just for saying baby doll, mm, I don't know because if you ask me this a year later, I don't know if I would say the same thing. It's average and that's not bad. I really like it. Mine has so much love from this fandom after all these years and I think that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> I can't listen to it. It's so like I, I, I it's like in my brain like forever like I can't get it out um is it a good song absolutely it's average 
I'm putting mine in as average. Um, all right, next we have our song. Slamming screen door, sneaking out late, tapping on your window, cause it's late and your mama don't. It's hard to rank this one cause now we have a country song. Okay, I'm putting our song to the side and we're gonna get to it later because I just can't right now. All right, um, ready for it? So of course these are all gonna feel overrated to us. Um, but if you step back and just remember what it was like when you first heard it and like, you know, they're just as special as any other song, blah, blah, blah. That's the tea for today. So first I'm like, baby, let the games begin. I don't like that part because it just makes me think of like the football commercial that she put it on, T. Um, but I do love, knew he was a killer. First time that I saw him, wonder how many ex, many, I swear I know the words. Anyways, but like when you hear like the boom, boom at the first song of the rep tour, when Taylor takes the stage, like that's everything. I would say ready for it is a solid okay. I don't know why I just hyped it so much to put it in okay, but that's where it's gonna go. I cannot see this because they're Polaroids. We never go out of style. All right, this is such a good song. Is it my favorite Taylor Swift music video? I would say second favorite. Red lip classic, thing that you like? Crashing down, we come back every time. We never go out of style. We never go out of style. Take me home. I agree. Um, style's elite. I really love it. Oh, this is Blank Space. Boys only want love if it's torture. Okay, that's very small. You definitely can't read that. Okay, Blank Space. But like when it came out, it was because it was like everyone hated her so much in like 2013, 2014. They were like, she's a slut. She has so many boyfriends. And then she wrote a song about having so many boyfriends. Like who does that? Taylor Swift does that. And then what really seals the deal here has to be um, Detroit, or as it's better known as Sydney from the movie, but like Detroit is so much better to scream. I'm gonna have to put Blank Space right up in God tier with Delicate. There's really no other place for it. All right, oof. Okay, now we have Everything Has Changed. Everything Has Changed is the one we're on right now. And I really, think it's so boring. I don't like it. And it was like the song is like, I just met you and I think we're gonna fall in love is what I hear. But it's like, no, they're friends. I don't know. It was just, it's just a skip. Like I can't with this song. Like it's so weak. When she sings it with Ed and it's just on guitar, I think that's perfect. And they bring the energy to it that it needs. It's not a bop. Like, they're both so powerful, but, like, they met for, like, the first time and then wrote this, like, it's just not what I want it to be. Okay, sorry, moving on. 15, oof, 15, wow. I had some problems with 15 for a while because I was like, I don't want to hear it anymore, it's overplayed. Um, but let's give some credit to a redhead named Abigail, which when I was 15 years old, and might I just say my full name is Abigail, when I was 15, I did dye my hair red and I was... Dare I say it, a redhead named Abigail, so she has rights. I mean, if you really listen to it and you don't listen to it like you've heard it on the radio a thousand times, you might cry, because it's everything, and I love it. I'm gonna have to put it in good tier. Be oh, I'm gonna rearrange that, I don't know why it just bothers me. Because she has rights. Next is Love Story, less rights. Um, no, honestly, I was anti-love story as well. I was like, I can't. Like, too many times. Like, I can't. Like, stop playing love story. And then she sang it on the 1989 tour, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this song? I've never heard it before. Like, thank you for playing this brand new song for me. Love story might just go in elite just for the 1989 tour. Like, love story was saved, and it was never the same again. Next, we have Shake It Off. I'm gonna have to put Shake It Off right up there in god tier you know what shake it off is everything it really is it really is and then world peace was like okay i guess i'll do that today all right where are we we're at tim mcgraw i feel like she only named the song tim mcgraw for clout and it worked really it's a really good song i don't hate it especially because like some of her early stuff is just like oof this is hard okay tim mcgraw might go in good tier that's very generous. Today was a fairy tale. Oof. Okay, I've had ups and downs. I've had periods of time where I love the song and periods of times where I just don't love the song. I don't know what it is. It's gonna have to, I'm gonna put it in okay because it's not 
better than any of these. So it's, it's an okay. Okay, Bad Blood, I feel like honestly Swifties can say with certainty that they've skipped this song before. And it really can be like that, but the thing is, when I sing to Bad Blood in my car and I, excuse me, and I turn it up really loud, it's my favorite song of all time. And I love the Kendrick Lamar verses and he really is everything. Is the music video everything? The music video, like, I don't know, Haley Williams is in it, so how can I complain? I don't know, just like every time I hear it, I just wanna like scream. It like makes me so happy. Okay, I'm gonna put it in average, like it has its moments, you know? I'm already wanna move like all of these around. You know how I am. Okay, wait, back to December. Is that better than me? I'm putting me in elite. I don't know what came over me when I put it down there, but me's going to elite. Tim McGraw, oof, I don't know what's going on here. I'm, something's come over me. I think back to December is gonna go in average. Endgame's gonna go to average. Everything else, let's just keep it where it is. I have a headache. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Okay, next we have teardrops on my guitar. Never a personal favorite. Um, I don't know what it was. It's just when I was younger, like I picked a song and that was my favorite song and just this wasn't it. The only thing that keeps me wishing on a wishing star, I mean honestly now I can say like it's such a it's such a good song. It's a bop. Um, and it really was like everything Taylor was back then, like in a masterpiece, you know, like a legend. Teardrops on my guitar is gonna go in good tier. It it is. It's good. Okay. Now we have We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. You've heard me talk slander on this. Um, when it came out, I kind of got really excited and I sang it all the time, but like my heart wasn't in it. It wasn't until 1989 that I was like, this is one of the best songs she's ever made. And then she sang it on the 1989 tour and it was like, oh, you know, <laughs> rock star legend, God tier for sure. Oof, now we have Welcome to New York. <laughs> She wrote this song, didn't she write it with Ryan Tedder, who's like such a great songwriter and I love all of his other stuff, but it's just like so not everything. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. It's like the background where it goes boom, 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 boom. That really does it for me. I'm just not, it's gonna be a skip. I really have never listened to Welcome to New York and been like, I want to be listening to this right now. Even when it came out, I was not a fan. Like I've never had a Taylor Swift song that has just never been it for me. Like usually it has like its ups and downs. This song was never it for me, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna keep moving on before I crush everyone's um, hopes and dreams. White Horse, oof, oof, a sad song. I'm not your princess. This ain't a fairy tale. You know, it's rough. It's rough. I'm gonna have to put it in okay. No, no, it's going in, it's going in good. This ain't Hollywood, this is a small town. You know what? Okay, 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 okay. Every time I think of another lyric, it gets higher. It's in Elite, everyone can sleep well tonight. Abby put White Horse in Elite. Okay, this is Wildest Dreams. When I heard this song for the first time, I was like, did she just rip off Lana Del Rey? Now it doesn't sound anything like Lana Del Rey. I don't know why I thought that. And the music video really just, it took the word wild and it took it literally, um, which is fine. Wildest Dreams, is like so everywhere and then like at the tour and like it it's played so many different roles and i have to respect that oof i don't know guys is it going in god tier oof oof is it better than these i would say yes okay wildest dreams is god tier there i said it okay style is going to average <laughs> Just, I hope, like, watching me move these around, like, so dramatically shows you, like, how hard this is to me. Like, the only ones I'm positive about are these two, Wingus and Dingus down here, and then Delicate, and We Are Never Getting Back Together. Those are, like, the only ones that, like, I have a strong opinion. Everything else is just kind of floating around. Um, anyway, speaking of which, next we have our song, which I put off, but I'm back to it now. And we have more country songs on our tier. Is it better than teardrops on my guitar? I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna put it in average. But I love it, it used to be my favorite Taylor Swift song. I did make a music video on iMovie for it in like 2010, I don't know. You Belong With Me. Okay, this is such a good song. Okay, You Belong With Me is everything. Am I right, ladies? Okay, it's gonna be good. 
I said it was good and it's good. All right, the last one we have, and this really like is like whatever to Taylor Swift fans, but it's like really hit the top of the chart. I don't want to live forever with Zayn. It's okay. Like, I don't know. I just am like, whatever. So looking at our final product, wow, 1989 really did that for us. Look at 1989 up there. Okay. Um, like I have to say, I don't, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. I hope you guys don't either. Is there anything I want to move around at the last minute? I feel like ready for it could be higher. I don't know. You know, it's hurting my head. I'm going to leave it where it is. Um, I hope you guys agree with me or at least partially agreed with me. But thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.